Hello and welcome back to the Sharks World, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is on a new revelation about white sharks that deepens the mystery of elasma bronchi in general. And I would argue it can be applied to multiple species of not just sharks, but lots of other diverse groups of animals. The topic in question is about scientists discovering that there are three genetically distinct lineages of white sharks around the world via genome analysis. Lineages, not species. Let me repeat that. This article is not saying that there are three species of white sharks, but three lineages. This is more along the lines of how there's different orcas around the world. The difference in these lineages aren't significant enough to where they should be considered different species. And I'll explain why this is a huge revelation, but also kind of a bad thing once we dig a little deeper. But with that caveat out of the way, as always in my videos covering articles like this, I will leave a link to the main source article in the description below. Please do yourself a favor and give it a good read. And I'm serious about that. This one has a lot of good information. This article was actually recently published on August 5th, 2024 by the Bioscience and Aquaculture Facility of Nord University. There, the team did an analysis of white sharks using two separate genome-wide methods. The first one is target gene capture where they compared 89 individuals. The second one is whole genome resequencing, where they compared 17 individuals. The samples from the sharks were used from all of the known regions white sharks inhabit. Both datasets and methods came out to there being three distinct lineages of white sharks. The North Atlantic, the Indo-Pacific, in the North Pacific. What's even crazier is that apparently these lineages diverged from 100,000 to 200,000 years ago during the penultimate glaciation, which might sound like a lot of time at face value. But remember, 200,000 years is nothing in the evolutionary timeline. Here's a map to better show how these lineages are spread out. This changes everything we thought we knew about white sharks. Well, okay, maybe not everything, but it certainly adds a big piece of the puzzle. Because before we just lumped them all into one group. I mean, how are we supposed to know that there is this much of a difference at a genetic level? And while many will say that this is a great discovery, and to be clear, it is. It also kind of sounds off an alarm in my head because of one word, conservation. Right now, we estimate that there's anywhere from 3,500 to 5,500 white sharks left in the world. Let's say 4,500 for the sake of argument. With this article, that number just got cut into three and we don't know the spread. And the reason I say this is because of another alarming note the article mentioned. Outside of a few exceptions, these lineages don't breed with each other. As in, Indo-Pacifics don't breed with North Pacific, and neither breed with the Atlantic lineages. From a shark conservation standpoint, this is bad, very bad. This means that the white shark population is much weaker than we thought. Because understand what happens when a lineage separates. This means that something causes them to not see another lineage member as a viable mate selection. And it's not malicious. They literally don't recognize or consider the other 
on the table of possible mates. Again, outside of a few exceptions. It's like telling you, a human, to go mate with a rhino. That thought has never crossed your mind. At least I hope it hasn't. But with this revelation, now we gotta start asking some critical questions. Like, is one lineage affected by climate change more than the other? How has overfishing affected the different lineages? What lineage is the famous shark Deep Blue from? And does that lineage grow larger than the others? Does each lineage have a different migration pattern? And how much is it affected by humans? Now that I think about it, this might explain why it's been so hard to pinpoint where white sharks breed. Dig it even further, what other shark species are in the same boat as white sharks in terms of lineage? I'd argue it's plausible that other lambda forms could possibly be. Did Megalodon and other prehistoric sharks have a similar thing going on? Could this add to the list of things that caused the Megalodon's extinction? Think about it. Megalodon was a worldwide predator, just like white sharks. Imagine if there was three to four lineages of Megs that didn't breed with one another. Then, when the extinction came around, them not breeding and their population falling because of the eventual extinction is what caused the Megalodon to disappear, or something along those lines. I want this video to kind of serve as a conversation starter for other videos, whether myself or others make them. Because I believe this certainly makes things more complicated in regards to white sharks. Comment below what you guys find interesting about this topic. And again, please give the main source article a read. This is going to be where we end things for today's video. Thank you for once again giving me some of your time. Remember to hit the gym, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then.